you for joining us for Monday's Living Word. We are going had been looking at the benefits of speaking in other tongues, and we're going to look at the aspect of speaking in other tongues and receiving wisdom. But we have to remember that those who influence our thinking have great power over our future. And so what is influencing your thinking today regarding situations, trials, tests, whatever's going on? What is influencing your thinking? You know, we have teachers and, and, and there's a prophecies out there. But what influences your thinking? Can we go and bail our life on that? Let's look to begin with at Proverbs 14, verse 12. Proverbs 14, 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. So there is a way, but that way that seems right to man, it leads to various ways of death. Verses 12 and 13 of Proverbs 14, message says, There's a way of life that looks harmless enough. Look again, it leads straight to hell. Sure, those people appear to be having a good time, but all that laughter will end in heartbreak. As I said, Who's influencing your thinking? Because they have that power over your future. There is a way that seems right to a man, but the end of that are the ways of death. It can go in various ways, and this is where you need to pray in tongues and get the wisdom of God on it, because we look at it and there's one way, and we think, oh, the way, that's good. So we go that way. Oh no, I should have gone this way. And we keep going these different ways, because... It says again in King James, the way which seems right unto a man leads to the ways of death more than one way. So here's something that we must remember. Your impression of God determines how you receive from him. What you think about God determines how you receive and an incorrect concept of God will determine the direction your life is going in. Who is God in your life? Who do you think he is? And what do you think he is? There is a way that seems right unto man, but we've got to find the way of God. Thank you for joining us today.